Thanks. Thanks. We'll go over to uh, Jay Shy again. Me? Me? Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Um, my name is Jaysha Smalls. I'm a student journalist at Bennett College. Um, my question today for you is, um, how do you feel about the NBA supporting HBCUs tonight? True. Uh, he just asked me that, but I mean, I think we did the jerseys. Like I said, I like the jerseys. And, um, it's great that the NBA is acknowledging those colleges and, you know, it, it, it's, bringing, it's showing, uh, you know, young kids that they're, that they can um, go to those schools and, you know, become something. Um, you know, growing up, I didn't know much about them. Uh, you know, just, you know, living in Cali, you, all you hear about is uh, USC, UCLA. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, now I think, uh, you know, my little cousins and nieces will be able to, you know, see that the NBA is uh, contributing or uh, just showing love to the HBCUs. And, you know, we're just bringing an attention to, to them. So right. you know, look it up and see if they want to go there. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not really mainstream. I don't hear it a lot on mm -hmm. the West Coast. Okay. Thank you so much. I didn't, I didn't hear a lot when I was young. Thanks. We're over to Mark Medina. Hi, Kawhi. Uh, with the one-year anniversary coming up with the season shutdown, what do you remember about how you process what was happening in the OKC-Utah game and then the – the league calling off the season. I just remember them shutting it down. Uh, pretty much, um, you know, it was crazy. Nobody really didn't know too many information, too much information about the, you know, the virus. Uh, but um, you know, at that moment, you just you just thought uh, it was serious. Um, you know, with the NBA shutting it down, making sure none of the, none of the players are. Uh, the staff members or anybody in the organization could spread to them and make it an even worse situation. Thanks, Mark. We'll go over to Dan. Hey, Kawhi. Good to see you. Um, it's uh, last year at, in Chicago, you won the MVP award, um, won a trophy with Kobe's name, and I know it meant a lot to you. Um, this might be an obvious question, but how different is this all-star experience than last year's, which kind of feels like sort of the last big NBA public event that everybody was kind of at together? I mean, there's a, there's no people around, you know, um, you know, there's no entertainment, uh, you know, look, look what we're doing now. We're doing a zoom call, um, or whatever FaceTime call, um, with interviews. So, um, that's the difference. I mean, it's, it's just no no energy. It's, it's no excitement. Uh, you know, pretty much um, other than when the game is going to be played. But uh, you know, off the floor, it's, it's pretty much dead. Um, you know, for us, the city of Atlanta's turned up, but it's um, it's pretty dead for the people in the organization or the league. Thanks, Dan. We'll go over to law. Uh, sort of along those same lines, uh, you, you've been in, you've been a Clipper now for this is your second season, and uh, you know you're from the area, Los Angeles area, and I just wanted to know from this pandemic, like, what have you learned the most about Los Angeles? Like, what's 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 uh, what have you learned the most also about um, Los Angeles since you joined the Clippers? Um, nothing really. I mean. I've been through the city, you know, my whole life. Um, I didn't learn nothing, nothing new. Thanks a lot. We'll go over to uh, Shane Young. Hey, Kawhi, nice to see you. I know this year or this, you know, all-star event is not normal under normal circumstances, but in a traditional all-star season, what is your favorite part about, about the all-star weekend? Is it, you know, just conversing with other players? Is it going out? discovering restaurants like what's your favorite part about all-star weekend on a normal basis uh you know the, the fan engagement you know um just coming here uh, you know fans being around you get to go to you know the um, special sports clinics um 
you're able to, you know, just just be be a mentor to some of, some of the kids around that time. Just going to to those gyms or the parks to help help build things, uh, to help the community. Um, you know, those are the things I you know look forward to. Just trying to give joy in people's life, but um, you know, this time around we're not able to do that. We'll go over to Farbad. Hey, Kawhi, I remember a year ago when you took the podium at the All-Star Game, there was a Gatorade bottle and you put it down and said you weren't sponsored by Gatorade. And I think I see the X2 bottle uh, next to you this time. Are you yeah. making sure to have that with you at all times this year? No. It's, I don't have to bring it. It's always it's going to be there. They're going to make sure it's there for me. And uh, the, the other question would be, um, you know, in the All-Star Game, there's all these favorite moments people may have, whether it's, you know, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan guarding each other, Kobe guarding LeBron and LeBron slapping the floor and Kobe blocking him. Do you have a favorite moment in the All-Star game from when you were growing up? Uh, not that I could recall, no. We'll go over to Joe Barter. Sorry about that. Hi, Kawhi. Um, going back to... Let's see, I guess the fall of 2019, so the the start of last season, guys like you, like the top players in the league, you all more or less were on board with the idea of the 2020 Olympics and playing for Team USA. And now so much has happened and the season itself is jammed right up against the Olympics and, and all that and pandemics in place still. Where are you on playing for Team USA and how much of it depends on how far the Clippers get? Um, I think um, pretty a lot of people were in were in for 2020, but just that pandemic pretty much killed everything. But uh, right now, um, you know, my, my plan is to go, but uh, it doesn't really matter on the success uh, that we have. Um, you know, if I feel up to it and feel ready to go around that time, then you know I'm gonna play. Thanks, Joe. Eric Walden, you can go ahead. Hey, Kawhi. So uh, Mike Conley became a late addition to uh, your your team, Durant. Uh, he set an NBA record for being, you know, the the deepest into his career of 14 years in becoming a first-time All-Star. Just wondering, you know, how well do you know Mike? Um, and if he were to kind of approach you for advice about, you know, playing his first All-Star game, what would you say to him? I mean, just go out and have fun, you know, pretty much. Go and enjoy it. Um, well, that's all I have for him. Um, it's, it's a game. I mean, he's a professional. Like he said, he's been in the league for 14 years. So, uh, I mean, he knows how to approach the game. But if he comes, just have fun. Enjoy it. Go out there and compete. Thanks, Eric. Um, we'll close out. Dan, you can go ahead. I cut you off before you can ask your follow-up. So we'll close out with you. Yeah, thanks, Kawhi. Um, in, the, in your time in the league, sort of the philosophy of – of practice and how much teams should practice and what they should do at a practice has changed um, quite a bit. Uh, what have you kind of made of how that's changed and how do you think it's affected kind of the way the game is played today and, and the season's managed? So how are practices now? Like, how are you saying they are? Like, I mean, I like, it seems like teams don't really get them that often if they do get them. Um, and if they come, that's usually with the game the next day, they're pretty light. Um, was it like that your whole career? Yeah, it was, it was pretty much like that my whole career. I mean, um, yeah, coming into San Antonio, uh, those guys been there for, you know, the, what, 13 years before me, I believe, 10 or 13. So same head coach. So they pretty much know knew the ins and outs of the offense and the defense. So you just, you know, have to jump on board and, you know, when you practice, go hard. I mean, it's just pretty much been like that since I've been playing. Probably I had the luxury of just playing, you know, with those Hall of Fame players. So, and the coach, they already knew the, the, the how they wanted to win or, you know, knew the league already. So, uh, you know, we didn't practice too much, but on our days, we went hard. Thanks, Kawhi. Thanks, Kawhi. That's all the time we got for you today. Have a good rest of the day.
And thanks everybody for joining.